And basically, um, that field <laughs> was the, the the field in which they trained. Uh, that, that field in Haiti. Um, they um, we had two guys come with us from Port-au-Prince who uh, um, definitely had a a, a wider skill set than uh, the guys um, down in in Manish. Um, there were some plasterers um, there, but not much else. I mean. You have to understand that when we we arrived on the site, um, you know, um, we got together a crew of people to start working. Um, there wasn't a pencil on the site. There wasn't a a single hand tool. Um, there wasn't a screwdriver. Uh, no one had uh, a knife. No one had uh, anything. Um, and so... Um, even finding a compressor turned into a real nightmare. I passed on what little knowledge I'd gained um, to them, and they, being very um, smart guys, figured out the best way to, to use it with a with a bit of instruction, and set about putting a thin layer of um, essentially shot grease. On, on the outside of the Air Force. You know, I, I said to Nolan that we encountered many problems down there and many failures um, in equipment, and not one of them happened with his equipment that he sent me. So um, it's a sort of rare honor, really, that, that nothing, that, that you know, from mall to sprayer, you know, failed. Everything else failed because that's the nature of the beast down there. We were using a lot of cement in our mix because it's thin shell. Um, and I guess I can't quite remember how much water we were putting in, just enough to get it through uh, to mix it. We, we we actually got hold of a, well, everything you buy in Haiti, the first breaks. Um, so obviously the first cement mixer we bought broke. And the second cement mixer, a brand new sort of $3,000 machine that we got in Port-au-Prince, you know, was mi missing nuts and bolts. Um, because that's how it is. And, um, but we mixed it up in a cement mixer. Um, they could have mixed it by hand, but I wanted it to be a little bit more consistent in the mix, so we bought a cement mixer. And they would, um, put it into a wheelbarrow and run it round to where the guys with the, uh, mortar sprayer were. And he would dunk it in the, wheelbarrow and chuck it on the airport. Obviously his equipment worked very well. The guys using it understood it really quickly, got a feel for it really quickly, you know, um, uh, found the maximum way, you know, the max, the best kind of way to use it. Um, as, as people who build do, they find the easiest way to do something pretty quickly. And, um, you know, I intend to use it you know, on any eco-shell building projects um, that I'm involved in.